how to configure important WordPress settings to set your website up for success, such as search engine indexing, site title and admin email, best permalink structure for SEO, comment moderation, and how to add a privacy policy page. First, log into your WordPress admin dashboard. Go to Settings, then General. If you want, you can update your site title here. Change it to something else. You can add or edit your tagline. WordPress address and site address. Leave them as is. You can update your admin email if you want to. You can change the language. Time zone. Date and time formats. You can even change the week's start day. Then click Save down here. OK, in the Writing tab. Not much to do here. If you have a post category you want to use by default, you could set it here after you've created your categories. In the Reading tab, the most important setting here is the search engine visibility. If your site isn't ready yet and you don't want your site to get indexed by search engines yet, then check this box. Your site will still be available, but it won't get indexed on, say, Google just yet. When your site is ready to go live, make sure to uncheck the box again. Just note, as it says here, even when this box is unchecked, it's still up to the search engines like Google to crawl your website. WordPress or Host Africa or your hosting provider can't do that for you. We have no control over what Google does. Now for discussions. Once your site is live on the internet, the comment section becomes a free for all. You want to make sure that not just anyone can leave comments on your site. Unfortunately, opportunists and spammers with bots take advantage of the comments to post junk, malicious links, or links promoting their own stuff. So you want to set it so that all comment authors must be registered and logged in to comment. Comments should always be moderated, so check the box. Comment must be manually approved, so that you can check the comments before they appear on your website. Media is fine as is. Permalinks, you do want to check. Make sure you've set it to either post name, so the slug will be the name of the post, or a custom structure. We recommend using a custom structure of category, then post name. It's the best for SEO. Just make sure you use the tags by clicking the buttons so that it'll add the data dynamically. Because if you just type in category, it'll say the word category for every single post instead of the respective categories for each post. Go down and save changes. And finally, privacy. This allows you to create a privacy policy page which is mandatory by international law for all websites collecting personal data that identifies an individual. You can use this to create a generic one. Once you're happy with it, click Publish. OK, and that concludes our section on important settings. So, all-in-one SEO, Monster Insights, and WooCommerce we'll cover in separate videos, so make sure to subscribe to our channel to get notified when they're uploaded. And if you need more help with WordPress, check out our full guide on creating a professional WordPress website from scratch. We hope you found this guide helpful. Be sure to check out our awesome WordPress hosting in the description below. And if you have any questions or video requests, leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.